Hello everyone and welcome back to Farnham Plays Legends of Eisenwald. In our last episode we managed to get this guy quite happy, this guy quite angry, and justifiably so. And right now we're thinking about maybe finishing off these quests here. And once that's done we have to not join him attack him and hope that this guy is going to leave, let us attack him too. So right now we've known that uh, he has squandered uh, Bruno, who's uh, of the castle of Grassenhof, has squandered most of its most of his family money. So what we want to do is tell his uh, I think it's son and once his son knows about it, he'll be unhappy. But you know what? That's life. That's how things go. That might be Wilhelm, but might not be. So we're going to try with Wilhelm and see how things go. Alright, so we're going to tell him everything that happens. He is unhappy, of course. And uh, that's pretty much it. We've got an achievement. It's called Hell of a Thing. I don't know if you guys can see the overlay. Uh, Alright, so we, we've dealt with Bruno's Devils. And... Ah, shit. I cannot declare war to him. Well, that sucks. So we've basically taken his, his side, I guess. Which is alright, we'll get to declare war on the other guy, but I'm a bit disappointed. Maybe this guy is going to let us declare war, or it's Walter. Hey Walter! And no. Okay, so we will declare war on the Frosh people. And for that we need to find the asshole in charge. There he is, that's Gunther. Let's hope he's not as scary as the one from Adventure Time. Come on, declaring war, there you go. What a bore you are. <laughs> well, you're gonna die, so I don't care. And I just realized I have attacked him while he had one of his troop out of the fight, so this is gonna be even easier than how easy it would have been. As soon as we reach... Yeah, there you go. Alright, so this guy, he's got a huge sword. Which is kind of scary, but it will let us attack first. And we will kill him first. And that's how things go. See, there you go. He didn't have a chance. Poof. Shouldn't have tried to rape your sister, asshole. Alright, and now we are attacking the back row, as they are. However, we are better, smarter, stronger, and everything else. So, we do not care. And I like the fact that they've attacked the only character that does not care about the intact. So, that's always good. Killing the healer should always be a priority. If you can't kill the healer, kill the archers. Because our melee line is going to take care of their melee line. There you go. And, alright, we've got two upgrades and a good trophy. Perfect. Uh, alright, so this is just to tell us that these guys are now enemies. I'm gonna kick their asses. But first, we are going to upgrade our um, healer. Now, we have two choices. Either go for the witch or the healer woman. Now, the healer woman continues the line with a new spell, which will be... Um, uh, Alright, so basically what that does is a pass passive bonus. And every time somebody has that on them, every time they get healed, they will get another turn. So that is super useful on uh, Heinrich, because 
we can heal him quite often. If we go towards the witch uh, path, we lose all the spells we had and we gain some new ones. So this gives healing and restores 16 health points of a friendly character in the same amount every turn after it is cast. So that's a dot of healing. But it decreases initiative by 8 points. And that is terrible. Now, confound, confound, it uh, transforms the initiative of the enemy to 1. So basically he goes last in every, in every turn. Uh, evil Eye, that... Oh, that's the opposite of a gift of Midb, which basically means that every time the person that has that spell on them gets healed, they lose their turn. And Dismount Foe basically does what it says. And this is basically terrible because there are so little reasons to use those. And they also have the Impious... Um, thing here which means that if there are pious characters or preachers they will lose five will if she's there so basically we don't want that we want the healer which will give us more things as far as the uh, fighter here goes we have decided that this guy would become a an infantry sergeant so what do we want do we want a watch sergeant Basically, he's got a spear and medium armor, so that's terrible. And this guy has a pike and heavy armor. But the infantry sergeant has a heavy armor and a sword. Basically, we're going to go with the infantry sergeant. That It was the best idea for this guy. It's going to be the best idea for this guy. Maybe for a change, once we reach this point, we'll decide to go pikemen and veteran pikemen, but for now, we're going to the right of the tree. Ooh, and he can actually wear the new shield, which is slightly better, so, you know, might as well give it to him. And we're gonna give a potion to Fester. I wonder if that there's a link with um, the Adams family. Or did I do that joke already? I do not know. And can anybody have the... Oh, they already have one. So, everybody's happy. Everybody's got their s stuff going on. We're gonna go fight whoever is in that castle. Since we basically lost absolutely no health points in that last fight. Although now that we're in the castle, as you can see, we had to dismount. So basically this is a crapshoot. We could either go for the Warlock or the Herbalist. But I've decided to go for the Warlock because he's quite annoying. And being annoying, you know, that gives you a death in my book. So we will heal up uh, this guy for two points, which is stupid. And give more health, I guess, to this guy. Ah, he picked the wrong guy. That jerk. Ooh, that, that did quite a lot of damage, actually. Alright, so we've killed the sorcerer. That's great. And as soon as this guy dies, the others are going to run away. Command. What does command do? Alright, so uh, that's one of our abilities, and because we have that ability, he gets bonuses. We also have... Removes 7 points of willpower from the enemy unit. Oh, we've had our will removed, and I haven't even noticed. That's just how much will works. <laughs> will actually is a healing multiplier when you use it right. Or, if you have less will than... If you have less will than your well than zero, I guess you will lose HP every turn. So we've killed whoever was there, and we're gonna heal immediately. 
and we're gonna go say hi to the castle because we want that castle to have one more soldier in our troop should we go for the, we're gonna go for the peasants first might as well kill everybody you know I'm an equal opportunistic um, devil and I will kill everybody if they get the chance it doesn't matter your rank oh well, killed one guy, the four others <laughs> ran away. So yeah, it doesn't matter if you're rich or not, I will kill you just the same. Uh, they are... they've got a peasant woman, a healer here, and I'm pretty tempted to hire her once I capture this castle. I think that's gonna be it for this... Um, how do you say it? this quest? I guess. All right, everybody's a bit hurt already because of uh, the siege, mm -hmm. but it's it doesn't really matter for us because we've got heaters, a lot of them. And a good thing of having two heaters in the same basically going at the same time means that one of them can use the gift of mid, mid which uh, allows the next one to heal whoever they've targeted and that will give them a new turn immediately so this is amazing but we don't need to use strategy right now we're just going to win no matter what Ow. There you go. Alright. So now, do we shoot these guys? I might shoot this guy. Because Heimlich won't get to him. Yeah. I'll get to this guy. And now we heal this one. This is actually getting a little bit, a little bit easy. Because our units are leveling up and theirs are not. So basically we get stronger every fight while they stay the same. It doesn't really matter. In the end we'll kill every one of them. Now however we're about... Uh, Alright this is good. It seems I have done away with Rake once and forever. His people are defeated and his castle is mine. Perfect. Um, so yeah, now that we've got everything, we're gonna go hire a healer, but don't get too attached because since we're towards the end of this map, we will probably uh, lose some of our troops. So I'm gonna save. I'm gonna go say hi to Bruno, say, see if he's uh, happy or not. I guess he will be happy. Because we've finished, I guess, the main quest. Well, most of the main quest. Alright, he doesn't care. That's perfect. Let's leave then and go to the city, heal our people, buy some stuff, and then we'll go get our castle back. Now that our... Um, our affairs are in order. Are there? There are no rumors. We can heal. Trade. Ooh, this looks good. Minus uh, plus eight plus eight minus four. I want. This is awesome. This is bad, and these are all terrible. Nothing here. It's five plus four. No, this is worse than what I have. Minus one initiative, this one. This one gives a bonus to melee attack, but yeah, this this shield is better. Actually this shield might be better too, so I won't I just won't buy it. I'm gonna keep that for later. Might as well Actually I don't really care all that much. They are Pavis, those are good for um I think they're only good for Crossbowmen. 
but they they lower 20 by 20 percent their initiative it does give them a better ranged attack uh you know what let's do it it's not like this guy attacks all that often either way i do not know what to do with the demon's bug though right. how about we change a little bit plus seven minus four Okay, you cannot wear those, and you can't either. So I think I'm going to sell everything. We're, uh, as I said before, we're towards the end, and I'm pretty sure I keep the money we have, but I'm not 200% sure about that. So we will capture our village back. And our swamp is at the north, is where we're going anyway, so we're going to try to capture that again. I'm just going to go say hi to the Craighausen. Because he was talking about getting my things in order before talking to him, and we've done that. So maybe they've got some interesting things to say. Oh, that's Berthold. He doesn't care. And we've, we're at maximum hiring capacity right now so we'll keep it like that can't only hire another noble one of these shields guy is going to talk to me wait i can't i just want to talk to the guy huh well you know what fuck that i don't care you care oh oh that's that's the peasants all right that's why it makes sense uh, so our swamp shack has been captured so we're going to capture it back and then we'll go to the Lenheinster castle or whatever its name is Ooh, there's a shield there I'm gonna go talk to that shield uh, but of course, before the talk is the fight. If you think they're gonna flee right now, yeah, they didn't even try. Herman, come on, Herman, you know you want to talk to me. Go, go, go. Uh, no, he said nothing. Oh, we've killed the other guy. Yeah, yeah I remember that. And this is the merchant who will give us some money, I think. Uh, but you... No, he won't. Alright, it's alright. I don't care. I didn't want that money anyway. So we are coming back to the mountain gate. See how the actual main quest is gonna go. Oh, damn it. Kurt tried to attack me and I was forced to defend myself. He lies dead and he gave me no answers. What about other Krages? Are they slain? The oldest Krage, Berthold, is a man I trust completely. Oh. Is a man I trust completely. 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 <laughs> Are you a fool? Uh, Berthold is as my brother. A pity then. Uh, my sword is at hand. A brother you took from me, a man whose deed has been sung, killed by you and your brother. I spit on you and your family? Oh, damn. I offer you the promise of a quick death if you tell me who's ordered you do these deeds. What is happening in Einstein? I demand an answer. And do you think I care for your threats? I am not my brother. I do not care for mercy. Not after the injustice done to my family. Oh, he was the asshole. All right. I will sa savor your agony and you will never know what happened to your family. You will die of that, I promise you. Then try and climb the wall, you fool, climb it and see if you are man enough to face me. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna kick your ass. I don't care. I'll kick your ass twice. You know, I'll resurrect you, I'll, I will resurrect you in order to kill you again. Sorry about this. I'm going, camera's going through the walls. Jesus Christ. Alright. This is... Alright. Is that good? It's alright. So, he will be a lot harder to kill because he's... Uh, super armored, but as as we are. Oh, you're no my new um, 
Is that their new one? Oh shit, that's the good one. They killed the good one. It doesn't matter. Gonna heal no one, we're gonna wait. See how things go. Probably heal that guy, unless the archers there try to do more damage than they should. Ooh, damage the armor, that's bad. Alright, so this guy is almost dead already, and what that will allow us is for, uh, whatever, Sep to go from the side. Well, he will kill him on this turn, but once he's dead, Sep will have access to the backlines. Ooh, this guy is hurt, I'm gonna heal him. And he is going to hurt right back. Hmm, shit. I think she's gonna die too. Yeah. It's alright, she's not that dead. She is unconscious. I have to kill the big guy first. He's the main damage problem guy. Anyway, I had to do that. It's a great thing we got this healer just in time. She may not stay with us for long, but when, while she is there, she'll be super useful. And we haven't lost Fritz yet. It's gonna happen, but not yet. Oh, he attacked the archer. That's great. And the archer is going to kill this guy, yeah. That way we can actually go to the back lines and I think that's gonna be the end of the fight right there. Yeah, as I said. Alright, so we've lost, well, we haven't lost them, they were uh, knocked unconscious, but we've gained a heavy pickaxe, a winged and winged, winged, winged spear, sorry. Um, not always good. Alright, Sir Enric, we managed to capture their chieftain. He is badly wounded though. You think you won? Gloat over me, but it won't be long. You won't get further than your castle gates. Who is your ma master? Tell me. I will give you a name, something to haunt you. You cannot imagine the power he has. Enderlin, the Langrave of West Rothwald, who strives with the Duke. Enderlin. And my castle? Speak. Curse you. You had a quick death, though you didn't deserve it. Well, quick. <laughs> he still had the time to talk. Um, all I have to do is find out how to enter the castle and return alive. Alright, that's okay. We're gonna go heal ourselves first, though. Because, let's be honest, this fight was probably the most difficult we had to face. And it wasn't, mu it wasn't much of a challenge, anyway. It's just because they targeted our healers first. Which is a good strategy, I guess. But you know what? In any case, I am going to end the video right here. Ooh, we have quests. Alright. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end the video here and keep the actual main fight. Oh, we don't even see what we're going to face. That's awesome. I'm going to keep that for the next episode. In any case, uh, I... Wait, I'm gonna start this again. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. And if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would be eternally grateful. In any case, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.